guys, so this is the RV. We're just gonna do a quick video just so that you can see how everything works. And uh, obviously we'll go over it with you again, but this just gives you an idea of what to look forward to when you're renting our RV. So starting with the trailer hitch, obviously you crank this up this way or put it down this way to align it with your trailer height. Um, the hitch here has a lock on it. So all you gotta do is take the lock off and then pull this metal piece kind of up and then you'll be able to clip it right onto your ball. If you don't have a ball, we do have one you can use. And we also have a brake controller that you can use. Now the propane tanks, we got two propane tanks in here. Um, depending on if you prepaid for propane or not, they will be full. Um, if you didn't pay for it, then you're gonna have to fill them up on your own. So only one is hooked up at a time. So you're gonna have to switch it from one to the other if you do run out. Um, obviously, uh, you're gonna have to pay for the propane that you use or you prepay and then uh, we deal with it then. Uh, this is the battery. The battery is plugged in and should be fully charged. If it isn't charged, all you gotta do is plug it into your site or plug it into the generator and that will charge your battery. It does sometimes get charged while you're driving the, the um, while you're plugged in, because um, you do have the electrical cord right here. This is the electrical cord to plug into the brake controller. Now this cord does charge the battery a little bit, but not fully. Um, now, when you're hitching up, you have these two chains. Now you gotta make sure that you cross the chains over when you're hitching to your vehicle. Now this is very important. This is called the breakaway cable. So you need to make sure that this breakaway cable is attached to this carabiner. Um, and when you uh, hook it onto the two um, spots beside your trailer hitch. So make sure they're crossed and just make sure they're trying not to hang on the ground while you're driving. Um, we do have this nice little wooden block to keep it up. Um, and yeah, the, we do also have a tow stabilizer kit so it's a blue ox um t stabilizer um we will show you how to put how to put that together in another vi uh, video okay so let's go inside all right so here are our we have two doors for one uh outdoor storage compartment so on this side we have just a couple things we have the generator cord we have um some fire roasting sticks and we have this um, I don't know what this is called, but this thing that goes into the leveling jacks and then you pull them down and that will be able to level your trailer depending on where you are. It's really nice because if you don't level them when you're in the trailer and walking around, sometimes it'll be a little bit un uneven. So it's nice if you're gonna be parked somewhere for a couple days. Now just make sure you always um, lock it up when you're done. Uh, we can include camping chairs in there if you want. You can see this is a little bit tricky. You kind of have to jiggle it a little bit and then it will lock just like that. Now let's go to the other side to show you what's in there. So here's the other side. It's the same storage compartment. It goes all the way through the, the width of the trailer. Again, you kind of have to jiggle it. Or maybe I'm putting it in the wrong way. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. So they have these nifty little things. You can pull that back and then that holds it up. All right, this is our hitch. Like I said, you can borrow it if you have to. These are our tow bars. We have extra mirrors if you want. And then <clears throat> for the pooper. So we have this nice little wand thing that will help you uh, clean out the pooper um, hose to make sure that nothing stays in there. We also have these, uh, I don't wanna touch them, <laughs> these uh, connections that go on the pooper hose as well. So you plug the pooper hose onto those connections and then you plug those into the ground at the dump station. Um, we also have our fresh water hose here. This is for the fresh water. So the fresh water, depending on what you're doing, if you have a city water connection, the city water connection is here. 
or on the other side if you just want to fill up the tank you can fill up the tank here with fresh water okay this is the propane water heater so once you put water in the device um, you turn the propane on and then you'll be able to have hot water if needed so this is your water hose very important if you want water um, right here since we're here this is the electrical cable um, inside here we also have a connector that you can depending on what kind of amperage you have on your um, site you can either use the 30 amp if they have it or we have a third a 15 amp connector somewhere in here oh here it is so this will go for 30 amps to 15 amps okay um i think that covers everything in here we do have this in case you need it this is to hold the pooper hose um so it's nice and level and then um we have these to go down underneath the leveling blocks just to make it nice and neat um okay so that's pretty much all everything in the outdoor storage compartment let's go inside so, so this rv has two door locks the purple key um, unlocks the deadbolt and then this one unlocks the actual latch. Oh, see, I did it wrong. There we go. We have a nice little step right here. Just brings it right up and a nice handle. Okay, so we have right here the electric awning, extend and retract. We also have the slide in and out. Now, I'm not going to do it now, but when you put the slide out, it'll go do, 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 make these kind of noises. On the second one, make sure you turn it off because we don't want to break the slide. And then it'll make those noises on the way in. Once you hear those noises, just turn, stop using the slide. So these are lights. Um, we got a bed here, um, the stereo here. It doesn't have Bluetooth in it, but we do have a little Bluetooth connection that we include it's just uh you hook this cord up oh, it's in here somewhere okay there we go you hook this cord up to here the aux cord right here and then you plug this little cord into the usb cord oh sorry not this cord aux this one and then you plug this in and then you're able to cast your Bluetooth onto this stereo. So you get Bluetooth in here. Um, we just didn't want to pay extra to get a new stereo when it works perfect. So we got some games and stuff up here for the kids. We got an extra extension cord. We got a little dust buster if you need it. Uh, some plastic cups up here. Pretty much everything you need for camping. Um, obviously, you know, just be wary of everything. Uh, yep. And then this is our uh, dinette. It's a U-shaped dinette. So if you wanted someone to sleep on here, all you have to do is take the table out, take this one out, and then put the table right here in the bottom piece. And then there's an extra cushion on the top part of the bunks. Okay, here's our sink. Again, you need to use water. Uh, sink works just like your normal home sink. This is our propane stove works on propane uh, You do need a barbecue lighter for this. So we do have a barbecue lighter in here You just light it and then turn the propane stove on and you're good to go We have all of our kitchen utensils down here uh, This is for garbage and any sort of plates or um, Kitchen things you need are all in there up here we have some paper plates anything like that you need you know just basic house supplies the microwave will only work if you are plugged into a campsite with 30 amps again the ac works fine but it will only work if you are plugged in with 30 amps um back here 
we have our bunks it's a bit dark back here so it's a bit hard to see but yeah we have two two single bunks um depending on if you're using them or not we will include the bedding if you need them you just have to let us know this is the fridge it works on propane electric and battery um our battery uh we're not plugged in right now so we don't have any power so i'm not going to turn it on but you know how a fridge works and then here is our bathroom so we got our shower here max air fan um the the shower and the sink are on one um they're on one kind of a faucet so you just pull this up to access the shower and then push it back down to get the sink water going. You are gonna have to put the pump on. The pump is right here. You just switch this flip, sw flip this switch, and then you're able to turn that pump on. And it's the same, the water heater is there. So yeah, here you can check your levels for everything. And then in here, we just have a small medicine cabinet and then the toilet. Now the toilet, very important. Please try not to poop in this trailer's toilet. Do your best to poop outside of the trailer's toilet. If you have to, we understand. So if you have to go poop, if you have to, but try not to, we have these little things that I can't seem to find right now. Yeah, right here. This is holding tank treatment. So you take a little tiny scoop of this and you flush that with your poop and it helps the poop degrade. But please try not to poop in the RV. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory. If you have any other questions, let us know. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for renting our trailer and we look forward to meeting you. Have a good day. One more thing. So there's a detachable door here so you can just use the screen and the screen will attach like that and then you can also attach this little thing to the side of the door so you can have the screen door open and this door held shut it's a good thing to have one more thing this window can be opened you just unhook these two little things and it opens like that. It's on a little slider, so just have that open. It's really nice and it really lightens up the RV inside, so.